people's minds are gonna blow. These are the new Black Diamond Ultralight ice screws. 45% lighter than our steel screws. Lightest aluminum screw on the market. Just like when we did the ultralight cams, we look at every single component and try to figure out where can we get all the weight out. So aluminum body, you gotta have a steel tip because if you go aluminum, it's just gonna get destroyed in like two seconds. The hanger, we played a lot with the geometry of the hanger. We were really concerned. We really wanted to have two holes. Our steel screws have two holes. We all like having the two holes, especially at anchors and stuff like that, instead of one big hole. We actually get more than you think out of changing the knob to plastic. The current knob is a, it's aluminum. And then the innovative, super cool Wiregate express handle, whereas the other one is a little aluminum piece. So you add up a little gain here, a little gain here, a little gain here, a lot of gain here, uh, and then you gotta have this here, and then you end up with 45% lighter. So steel compared to aluminum, 145 grams, 81 grams. So you add up, you know, eight or 10 of these on your rack, and that's gonna make a difference. So the range here in these four sizes, we got 13, 16, 19, 22, 74 to 96 grams. Unbelievable. On all the lengths, we're gonna stop the threads here. So in production, the threads will be this long, and then it'll just be raw shaft here, just like our steel, steel screws, all the way across the board. Because the testing shows that having all these threads all the way up uh, it doesn't do anything for you from a strength perspective or a pull-up perspective, and it just adds cost and weight because you have more material there. The, the one thing you have to realize when you're taking away 45% of the weight is this is not going to be as durable as a steel screw. So the threads are going to get dinged up quicker because they're aluminum and not steel. And this is you know, a lightweight wire gate, and if you grabbed it like this and torque the crap out of it, you're going to bend it. Now you can bend it back maybe a few times, but this is not intended to be a replacement for the steel screw. This is the ultralight ice screw, and you use it where the time is appropriate. Glacial travel, ski mountaineering, when weight really matters on the gnarly alpine climbs with huge approaches, that kind of stuff. But you can use these for your everyday ice climbing, but chances are they're just gonna take more abuse than you're used to on your steels, and they're not gonna last as long. And so, a couple, I mean, lots of challenges when you're doing something like this. Because you got, you got to meet the strength requirements, of course. Um, you want to get as much weight out as you can. But it also has to function correctly, right? So we have a little bit more throw here to get it in. The hanger with the two holes is critical. But having them so they rack nice, that's important. So on an ice clipper, when you, when you rack a bunch of these together on an ice clipper, they rack really nice. The steel screws rack amazing because of the way that you have this L and this is so thin. In order to get the strength, we couldn't have it this thin. But still, with an aluminum hanger, these rack incredibly well. The steel tip is not replaceable. <laughs> that would be insane. That would be risk, that'd be, that'd be tough. It'd be tough to make it so you could do that. It's indexed and then glued on. So yeah, the steel tip is not replaceable. This is a different diameter. Uh, the whole screw is a different diameter than a steel screw. We don't expect your average ice climber to go out and buy a whole, full rack of these things for their water ice climbing. But for your ski mountaineering, glacial travel, alpine climbing, when weight really matters, you save a lot of weight, add up 10 of these. It's, you wouldn't believe the effort that we put in this. And the number of these ice blocks that we bought in the back freezer at BD to get it so one turn and it's and it's in one turn and take your hand off and it'll stay and there's a couple reasons it does that one we got this teeth geometry super sweet so and it's in and then two you have less weight out here i mean it's kind of all this stuff when you add it all up it's all kind of like equals game changing at the end of the day no you look at cam weight carabiner weight ice tool ice screw weight ice tool weight i mean a bunch of pansies like it's pretty bad it's pretty, it's pretty wild to think of what these guys were climbing back in the 70s with straight shafted and snargs and like 10-5 ropes and like four pound Joe Brown helmets and we're all like crying over 10 grams here and there. It's embarrassing. Plus they're green. Envy green because all your friends are going to want them if you got them. For sure.